Okay, so today we're going to be uh, designing the angle bracket. It is a three view drawing, so we're going to do a front, top, and right side view. Um, just change the dimension color here. Make that a little bit brighter of a color. And so in order to do that, uh, let's analyze the shape first. So we've got this L-shaped piece with a 90 degree bend, and I know it doesn't look like that in isometric view, but it's 90 degrees. Um, and then we've got a bolt hole pattern, four holes. And a little bit about the holes, they're a quarter of an inch each in diameter. And it says they're on a 0.75 inch square grid, which means that from center point to center point to center point to center point, um, is three quarters of an inch each. And to locate them, we're looking at from the bottom up to the first center point is going to be seven eighths of an inch. And from the left side of this part, assuming that the front is pointing straight out at us, uh, it's three eighths of an inch there. Um, so let's start off with our front view. So in order to do that, we're going to open up an old drawing, just like this. Now we're going to do save as. We'll call this angle bracket. Save. And then we can wipe out our current lines. All right, so let's look back at our drawing. Uh, so this thing is two inches tall, two inches deep, and an inch and a half wide. So we're going to start off by making a rectangle that is two inches uh, tall by an inch and a half wide. And then our material thickness here is three-eighths of an inch, so we're going to draw a line toward the bottom, three-eighths of an inch up off from the bottom to start. So we'll select our object layer here, and we're going to draw a line that is two inches. And we set our width is one and a half. And we'll do a two-inch line there and complete this. We'll zoom in a little bit, and we're going to offset that, like we said, uh, three-eighths of an inch from the bottom to show the front piece that's kind of coming out toward us. Then we want to lay out our holes. So we're going to, um, I like to just use, um, we could either use offset or we could just draw lines. It's sort of up to you. Um, let's use offsets. So we're going to offset the bottom line up uh, 7 eighths of an inch from the very bottom. We come up 7 eighths of an inch. Then we're going to come in from the left side 3 eighths of an inch. So from the left to right. And these two, just to make them less confusing, I'm going to switch them to zero layer. Those are our layout for our circle. So we'll click um, circle tool here and we set a diameter of 0.25. And then um, next what we can do is we can use these two white lines, our, our zero layer lines. We can offset them three quarters of an inch each. One up and one to the right. And then this is our 0.75 square grid for our holes. Um, so what we want to do is we want to get this circle or hole set correct with center lines and everything, and then we'll copy everything all at once. Um, so we'll offset that, let's say 0.1. And we can draw in our center lines, and then we'll have to adjust the, uh, the line type scale on this. got our center lines drawn in. I'm going to leave those there for now, but let's select our two center lines. I know it's hard to see. Um, and then let's delete that. Let's select our two center lines so that we get dashes in them. Um, and then we will adjust the line type scale. So we'll right click and hit properties. And that comes up there. Let's try 0.25 doesn't give us any dashes, so we got to go smaller than that, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 works, you can see it right there. All right, so now what we can do is very carefully select our two center lines in our circle, and we're going to copy those from the middle, go right here, right here, and right here. And what we can do is delete our white lines now. And that view is complete. Now, one thing to note about this view, there are curved edges here, but there's nothing represented about them in this front view. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that in our right side view here. 
so to, to start our right side view, we're just going to use our zero layer, and we're just going to project straight over. And I like to just kind of arbitrarily draw a vertical line that's going to be the, the right side of this. And we'll just offset it two inches to the left this time. You'll see, so our, our view is going to be within this box. Um, I may separate these views a little bit after the fact, but we don't have to right now. Oop, actually didn't even need to, that line does not need to go there. So we'll just delete that. Oop, see that single line all right so we're looking at making basically a backwards l so if this piece is projecting with the front out toward us in our front view we're drawing the right side which means we need to pivot it so it's going to be like a backward shaped l our material thickness is three eighths of an inch here and we can assume that it's consistent throughout so we'll offset this line three eighths and this line three eighths Do this and that, and then we'll just draw a little line at the end here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of come in with the trim tool here, hit enter, and we'll just start cleaning everything up that we need or don't need. Um, I'm going to actually delete our white lines because we don't need them anymore. Take that out, take that out, and we can actually clean up the inside here. All right. Next, we'll add our holes, and then we'll do the fillets at the end to, to represent the curves. Uh, to add the holes, it's really simple. We're going to use our hidden line type, and we're just going to project them over, like so, grabbing the top and the bottom of each set of holes, and then we'll trim everything up. Again, grabbing the quadrant, that quadrant marker that's shaped like a diamond is really important for this, and then we'll grab a center line. We'll bring that over as well. We'll use our trim tool, enter, we'll just kind of cut everything off. And then we just want to come in and delete all the extra little line bits that are left in our front view because we don't need them. And now let's clean this up. So we want to stretch out our center lines, let's say 0.1 in each direction. In fact, if I really want, um, what I could do to kind of make this a little simpler on myself is we'll just take this center line and just copy it down. Actually, no need to do that. We're going to delete that center line. Stay with me here. So we're going to adjust our line type scale on all of these. Right click properties. And we'll go try point two. See what we get here. How about 0.3? Oh, 0.2 it is. Let's do that. And we'll just copy this center line down. And we're going to use our base point right here. Again, there's there's 10 different ways you could do this. Um, similar to how we did it last time, I could have just run a zero layer line across to this point, made this, and just copied the, all three at the same time. Uh, the other option here we want to get, we want to make sure these hidden lines match, or this hidden line matches this hidden line. So we're going to use match properties. We'll select this as our source. Let's little paintbrush up and we will click and click. And then we're just going to use the fillet tool. Uh, R for radius. Our radius is going to be 0.25. And we're going to click here and here. Do this one. And we'll do this one. And now our right side view is complete. And we're going to do our top view. Top view is going to be uh, same width and actually same height. So we'll just project our lines up. And we'll go over and down. I'm just going to make this uh, object line right there. We'll offset that down two inches to show our depth. Then select our object line type, hit L. And we'll do that. 
And we got to show the top sticking out, so that's going to be offset 3 eighths down from here. And now these lines, we're going to grab them, we're going to copy them. And then we're going to grab them again and we're going to hit rotate. We'll just rotate them 90 degrees. And now we're going to move them again. Uh, and I'm going to hover so that I can grab the center line where it would meet the face of the part. We'll just hover here and bring that up. And now those are lined up. And you can double check them by using our zero layer here. Just run that straight up to there. And hopefully those line up. And that is the completed drawing. I'm going to just move some stuff so that it's all kind of nice and even. I actually really like that spacing. That works well. And then we're going to click Save. And that is the angle bracket.